Hey, how's, how's it going, everyone? How's it going today? Happy Wednesday to everyone. Hope everyone again doing good. Uh, has the right attitude, has the right mindset, being positive, um, doing good things for yourself and other people. But if not, um, if your mind isn't in the right place, then um, you know, let's use this time to put it in the right place. So uh, again, spend some time every morning, you know, reading a little bit. And uh, some of the stuff that I'm reading out of this book, again, I'm still in the, the Jocko book, This Plane is Freedom. I got all my markers here falling off. Um, I'm going to read them all at, at some point, but uh, they kind of all go together a little bit here. So I found another one that kind of um, kind of goes really good with everything that we got going on, along with just some other stuff. So just give me a second here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone jumping on. Alrighty, so um, this chapter here is uh, nature versus nurture. All right, nature versus nurture. So it says, what is more important, nature or nurture? In my opinion, neither. I have seen people from every stratum of life in the military. I worked with every type of person, Ivy League kids with silver spoons, former gangbangers, hood rats, prep school kids, kids from blue collar families, kids from strong families and kids with no families, kids who were pampered and kids who were abused and everything in between, everything. And with all those different types of people, they were good and bad, success, successful and unsuccessful. And in working with business, I see the same thing. People from every walk of life, from the bottom to the top, and I have seen every type of person be successful. So to me, it's not about nature or nurture. It is about choice. Okay, this is where it gets good. Good morning, guys. It's good stuff. The people who are successful decide they are going to be successful. All right? The people who, who are successful decide they are going to be successful. They make that choice, and they make other choices. They decide to study hard. They decide to work hard. They decide to be the first person to get to work and the last one to go home. They decide they are going to take on hard jobs. They take on the challenges. They decide they are going to lead when no one else will. They choose who they are going to hang around with and who they choose. And they choose who they will uh, emulate. They choose who to become, who they want to become. They aren't inhibited by nature or nurture. They overcome both. And I will tell you something else. It's never too late to make that choice. You are never too old to decide where you're going to focus your efforts and push to make the most out of every situation. Uh, so think not, not about what you've been through or where you were. Think about where you are going and choose. Choose to make yourself smarter, stronger, and healthier. Choose to work out, okay? Choose to work out, choose to study, and eat good food and keep your mind clean. Don't let nature or nurture make you. Choose to make yourself. Fire right here, guys. Fire. Good stuff. You know, I think a lot of times, um, you know, I, I've heard, like I said, I, I've talked to a lot of individuals as well. Um, I've been through a lot of stuff myself. Um, I've heard a lot of people's stories doing jujitsu. I got a chance to talk to so many people over the years and, um, you know, I get to hear, you know, I listen to what people say, you know, I listen to their mindset, you know, where they come from, their, their hardships, what they've been through. Um, and uh, I can relate to some of it. And then some of it I can't relate to, you know, but, I, but what I do understand is that some people um, will use where they grew up uh, as a crutch or what they've been through as a crutch to make an excuse um, or what they don't have that other people do have um, as a crutch to make an excuse to not do something, you know, like they're stuck in this situation and you're only stuck in that situation um, if you allow yourself to be there, you know. Um, i give you an example, like for me, I'm from Saginaw, Michigan. I grew up there. Uh, I left there when I was 26 years old and I love, you know, I love home. It's home, it'll always be home. Friends I grew up with, um, family members, they're all still there. Uh, I care for them all. But at some point, um, I just felt like I wanted to do more and see other things. And, and I just wanted to know what, what else was out there, you know? So one time <clears throat> I took a, a vacation 
Uh, I was working for General Motors, so we're, we're on our two week shutdown. So I work, um, I came down here to the Arlington area and I just thought it was really, really nice. You know, we had the Dallas Cowboys, the Mavericks, the Six Flags, um, Texas Rangers, um, Dallas Stars. I mean, it was just, it's just this place, this Dallas Fort Worth area was really nice compared to where I grew up at, uh, which, you know, it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. No one can deny that. You can love, we can love home and, and where we're from, but there's just no denying that it's pretty rough and the situations that we're around and stuff like that uh, were pretty rough. So, um, you know, I, long story short, I'm not gonna go too far into it, but I moved, okay? I took the transfer, I moved. Um, I didn't want to, I, I saw kind of the, the cycle, you know, you grow up in Saginaw for some people, okay, well, for a lot of people, not just some for a lot. And, um, you know, you kind of get an average job, um, you know, you have some kids and they have kids and you never really leave, never really see anything, never really do anything. Again, I'm not, I'm not disrespecting or putting anything down. I'm just saying what is the truth, okay? And sometimes that hurts. And I was like, I want more, um, than this for myself. Like, I want to know what else is out there. I want to see what else is out there. And so I left and it was probably one of the best things I've ever done because I've seen so much of the world. I've done so many things. My mindset's completely different. Um, just how I think and how I look at things, how I look at the world is completely different because I took myself out of a, out of a, out of a place, um, that I thought I would never leave, you know? And um, it's just it's just been great for me. Now I've had some hardships down here as well, but nothing like uh, like I did, you know, back at home. And it really just opened up a lot of things for me. But if I just would have had that mindset, like some people do, like this is where I grew up. This is the way things are. This is the way people. This is the way it's gonna be. Um, life isn't gonna change. And just accept it. Then I wouldn't have seen nothing like I've seen in my lifetime already, you know, so it's not where you grew up. It's not the situation that, um, you know, you're, 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 you're born in or, or who your parents are or anything like that. Now, again, it's a lot tougher. It makes it a lot tougher, right? It makes it a lot harder for some people, uh, you know, who your parents are and what they did for you, what they didn't do for you, or, 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 you know, if they're even around or whatever the case may be, if you're a single single uh, family household, you know, parent household and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, once you get older and you get to a certain point, the choices are yours. The choices are yours to make certain things happen and have a mindset to where there's been years and years of, of just BS, you know, stacked inside your head and your brain, either told but to you by your parents or other people uh, where you grew up at or wherever you're at. And it just takes some time to chisel that stuff back out of there and break all that up. That was an example I was given in business one time was, you know, this mentor of mine had to break years and years of just crap in my head, break it all up and get it out of my head to just understand, hey, in order for me to have a successful business or do certain things in business that I want to do or anything else, I got to clear my mind of just whatever it is, how I grew up and who I grew up around and what they were thinking, because the way they were thinking is nothing like the people that I was trying to put myself around. And once I started to break all that up and loosen up all that BS in my head, um, things really started to open up. My eyes were just opened up to a whole nother world of successful people and business people and, and um, just people that thought differently and had a different mindset. And so that changed a lot for me to where um, it's just all I want to be around now. You know, I just, I just, I'm looking for that. I want people around me that are motivated and successful, um, you know, not by any means, you know, because there's a different way to get successful where you shortcut people and you, you undercut them and you stab them in the back. I'm talking about like, like genuine successful people where they worked really hard. They started in a certain place worked their way out of the certain situation and then got to the top. You know, that's what I'm talking about. So, um, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're never too old to decide where you're going to focus your efforts and push to make the most out of your situation. That's what it says here. And, you know, you just got to tell yourself that it's just never too late. So if that's you out there, um, you know, that, uh, 
kind of threw in the towel and gave up a little bit and say, hey, you know, this is, don't accept it. You know, basically that's what this is saying. Don't accept it. Don't accept where you're at. Don't accept your situation. Don't accept um, because you grew up in a, cer a certain way and you were, maybe you were poor, didn't have a lot of things that other people have had. Um, you gotta, you gotta change that. It's your choice now to make that decision. When you're a kid, you just don't know any better because you're just following and being told what to do by your parents or your friends or whoever. But once we get to a certain age, we, we're, we're responsible for ourselves to make certain choices to understand, yeah, this sucks. I don't wanna be here anymore. I wanna make some changes and some choices, so let's make it happen. And it took a lot for me to leave Saginaw. It really did. I left everything behind, everything. And um, it was tough, but it really kind of just, I, it, it helped me let go of just being scared you know, being fearful of certain things. Now, you know, you know, once I left home, then I quit General Motors, you know, I had 11 years in the plant. I didn't, I, you know, it was hard to leave. I was making real good money. You know, General Motors at that time before 2008, all right, was a good company to work for, uh, real good insurance, you know, um, man, hours, uh, work overtime wasn't mandatory, it was choice, now it's mandatory. Um, there's two different tier systems and the insurance isn't the same. And when I worked for them, um, it was good money and good insurance, you know, so that was hard, to, <clears throat> excuse me, that was hard to leave, but I wanted more. I just kept thinking, you know, because they were offering the buyout, right? They were offering the buyout. And if you take it, you cut all ties with General Motors. That's it. You quit, but you get the money to, to go do something with it. And uh, I just kept thinking to myself, you know, I don't want to think about 20 years from now. What if I would have took that bio and took the chance to open up my own jiu-jitsu academy? You know, I had just got my black belt and, you know, I had um, I had the time in, you know, I, I, I was studying some business, which I didn't really, I thought I was studying business. I don't know, I didn't know anything back then like I do now. But, um, you know, I just had that in my mind. What if I just stay in here for 30 years and retire and take the safe route? Just keep the safety net, keep the safety job, be comfortable. I got insurance and just um, ride this thing out for the next 20 years and then just call it what it is and then just do what everyone else did. And something inside of me told me, don't do that. Um, take the jump. And it's exactly what I did. I took the jump. I burned my ships. I went all in, put all the chips on the table. I didn't have no safety net, no other backup, no nothing. I went all in on this jujitsu thing. And uh, it's been 12 years now since I left. It's been 12 years since I left General Motors. And uh, it's been a great ride up until this point. And I continue, I'll plan on continuing to make it that. But I had to let go. And I had to make a choice. And I had to let go of certain uh, certain mindset that, um, you know, I had to get, you know, had to get uncomfortable for a little bit. And uh, it was well worth it, you know. And, um, you know, things have just continued to build ever since then. So again, uh, nature versus nurture. We all grow up differently, different parents, different neighborhoods, different situations, uh, you know, but if some of us are obviously have, a, have a, a few steps ahead on other people, but for sure, it's all our choice to make it is, you know, make what we're going to do with it. And so do something with it. Again, you're never too old. Make that choice today. If you want to do something that you love to do, you're passionate about something, go and do it. Okay, make the jump, make it happen, um, you know, and just, you know, live the rest of your life like you want to live it. And I think, uh, you know, at the end, of, when it's time, you know, you'll be, you know, you can look back and be like, man, I'm glad I did that. I know when my time comes, you know, it's, it's going to be something that I look at like, man, I'm really glad that I did that. You know, I'm glad I did it now. And I know that I won't, reg I know I don't regret my decision for what I did for moving and for, um, you know, making that jump from General Motors to doing what I'm doing now. So anyways, yeah, Mr. Uh, and I guess, yeah, I miss Tony steak sandwiches too, man. Back in the day though, not now. Every time I go to Tony's now, it's like oatmeal, egg whites, and like whole wheat toast. But anyways, you guys have a great day. Make the choice, okay? Make some moves, change your mindset, change the people you're around, change the way you think, the way you talk, and um, make things happen for yourself, all right? We'll, guys, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day.